What's going on guys, PowerGPU here. Today we're gonna to be building Stan HDA's PC. Now he wanted something high-end where he can stream and game at the same time, especially for when Destiny 2 comes out October 24th. Now this PC, we went out and found all the best deals we could. Thank you to AMD once again with the AMD Ryzen 1700. We got this bad boy on sale for $299. Great deal, great steal, which I know July 11th, it was around 269. We lost out on that deal, but still, for an eight core processor, 16 threads, this is a monster processor, especially if you're a content and creator. Here you can see a B-roll of the whole entire setup. We have the X370 Tai Chi Azrock motherboard, the Ryzen 1700 processor, and this processor alone, like I said, guys, if you're a content and creator, this thing is a beast. 8 cores, 16 threads is going to be more than enough for you to stream and game all at the same time on the same exact PC. The AMD Ryzen, when it first came out, a lot of people had their doubts. Now when it came out and people have been testing it, I've been using it since day of release and I can honestly tell you this guy is definitely worth looking into. I spent $339 when it first came out and I still think that the $339 price tag when it came out was a phenomenal deal for what it is. Especially now that you can find it for around $299 and even sometimes on sale for $269, this guy is the way to go, for sure. The Ryzen 5 is almost the same price, you might as well go for the $1700. Moving on, another star of the build, the ASRock X370 Tai Chi. This bad boy has a ton of features for the price that you get it for. $189.99, you get SLI, Crossfire support, and it includes a wireless AC card as well. As you can see as well, it has four PCI Express times one. So if you're trying to do any capture cards, you have more than enough slots to accomplish this. The board itself has a beautiful design with a white background and a black finish as well. So it gives you a really nice black and white theme. Onto the Corsair Vengeance memory, we're using the LPX series. It's 2400 megahertz, 16 gigs, so two eight gig sticks. And it looks beautiful black as well with the black background with the motherboard. So everything looks black and white, great color scheme. Uh, for this build. Now, the Western Digital Black NV uh, M2. SSD, the 512 gig that we're using, is the Black Edition at 3200 megabytes on the read, 2800 megabytes on the write. Now, moving on to the video card, this guy is a complete monster. This is the GTX 1080 Ti from Gigabyte called the Aris. This guy has 11 gigs of VRAM, it is factory overclocked as well. From the factory itself, it's actually a whole lot faster than the Founders Edition. And as you can see, it's running three fans, which it cools down amazing. When I was running this guy benchmarking on my current machine, it was max load at 69 Celsius the whole time running 4K on Crisis 3. And easily, it was eating through Crisis 3. This guy has four, three display ports, one HDMI, one DVI, and it has its own RGB, which you can control within Windows. It is a really nice card. It is priced at $719.00. One, one contender to definitely look at if you're looking at a GTX 1080 Ti. It also has a beautiful back, back plate to cover up the VRAM in the back, keeps it nice and cool, and it prevents the video card from bending. We get that a lot with these cards that are so big, it will warp in the case, and you don't want that to happen. Especially, it could damage your PCI lane as well with the weight of this card. Moving on to the case, we're using the Corsair Carbide 400C. This guy packs a punch for the size. It is a beautiful, elegant, simple design, no CD drive. It is nice and open in the inside, acrylic side panel. The panel itself comes right off. It runs, it looks beautiful once that is done. The power supply we're using is the EVGA 750 watt B3. Ah, that's about it. Well, here it is guys, the finished product. This guy looks amazing. I enjoyed building this PC in this case. I love this case. I will definitely recommend it for the price has tons of room to work with. And of course, once I install Windows and everything, I will go ahead and set the RGB, have everything together as far as the pattern goes. So as you can see here, the video card is changing colors. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that the same thing with the cooler itself, make sure it changes colors at the same time. I have full control over this. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well, guys. Have a lot more content to come doing a lot more builds later on. And when D2 comes out on PC for the beta, I'm gonna have a ton of videos on benchmarks with that. So I'll let you guys enjoy some of these pictures and I'll see you guys in the next one.
just don't want to know what the video card is. We're using the Gigabyte Eris GTX 1080 Ti. This guy is a complete monsters pack monsters. <laughs> Packed with the 11 gigs. No, 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 no. We have to start that one again. 